Hey everyone, welcome back to another video by Coasters and Places here. Today I'm going to be ranking all of the B&M inverts that are currently operating in the United States of America. So, unfortunately Dragon Challenge that was at Islands of Adventure is not going to be on here. And what I did do is because there's several Batman clones, which also include Great White at SeaWorld San Antonio, since those are clones, even though some may ride just a little bit different than others, I'm going to group them all in one when I rank this list. Um, so with that being said, with that ranked all in one, that makes 11 unique inverts to rank that are here in the United States. I'm not going to do Canada or Mexico inverts or worldwide inverts for this video and again this is just my personal opinion on how I like the inverts and your opinion probably gonna differ from mine and that's perfectly okay nothing wrong with that in fact I'd love to hear in the comment section down below what your favorite invert is um, so without further ado let's get started with number 11 Number 11, my bottom invert is Silver Bullet. Now just because this is number 11 doesn't mean it's not a good ride. It's a B&M invert. You can't go wrong with the B&M invert. They're great, fantastic rides. It just means this is my least favorite of the bunch. In my opinion, this is probably the least intense of the bunch. So it is it does have six inversions. It's 3,127 feet, so it's not the shortest, not the longest. Um, that first drop, though, is just very shallow, and I know that's because that's how they had to design it to get it to fit, but it's just so disappointing. Um, the helix at the end is very forceful, and it's nice how it goes over the water. Um, but I just feel like this is just more smooth, graceful, it's lacking some intensity. There is some intensity, as I said, that the, the helix at the end, um, the zero G roll isn't bad, but overall, Silver Bullet's just my least favorite invert, at least in North America. Number 10, I put Flight Deck at California's Great America. So this is a very short invert at only 2,000. 261 feet and I think that's its biggest drawback for sure. So the final inversion over the water is very pretty. The whole coaster is very intense, has great pacing, but it does only have three inversions and it's just super short. Granted it packs a lot in its short layout, but it just really needs to be longer to be ranked higher on my list. And that's just pretty much my thoughts about Flight Deck. Number nine is Patriot at Worlds of Fun. I've heard a lot of people rank this as their least favorite invert. Wouldn't quite rank it that low, but bottom tier 100%. If I saw somebody ranking this in their top tier, I'd be like, hmm. So Patriot, it's very smooth, as pretty much all of these are. It's short at 3,000. 81 feet does have four inversions in the layout so decent amount I guess for the length so the G the zero G roll is pretty good um, it's not super forceful but the final corkscrew and helix have a lot of whip that is by far my favorite part of the ride that makes it to me a step above silver bullet and flight deck just how whippy that is and this thing is just glossy smooth like I love that about Patriot and it's pretty tall so the height I think does help Patriot out um, but I do think it does lack a little bit of the intensity seen on a lot of the and inverts that's why I just can't rank it any higher than number nine number eight for me is great bear at Hershey Park so it's 2,799 feet, so not very long, but it does have four inversions. Its layout is pretty unique because of where they had to put it at Hershey Park. 
so it doesn't start with that big first drop, but rather a small curve into a much larger drop. And the helix before the drop is pretty great though. All the inversions are whippy. In particular, the Immelman I think is particularly forceful and the setting that Great Bear has is just really gorgeous. Over the water, just where it's tucked at in the park, I think, it's just really pretty. Um, for some reason though, I feel like Great Bear is overhyped by some people for what it is. To me, I feel like it's just missing something and there's some dead spots on the, on the coaster. Like, and I think again, that's just because of where they had to put it and how they had to squeeze it in. But that just kind of kills it for me, unfortunately, with Great Bear. That's why I really just, I have it at number eight. Can't really put it any higher. I mean, it's good, but I just feel like it's missing something, for sure. Number seven is gonna be all the Batman the Ride clones, which does include the ones at like Six Flags, Great America, Great Adventure, or Great Adventure, Magic Mountain over Texas, Goliath at Fiesta Texas over Georgia, and Great White at SeaWorld San Antonio. So these are all very strong, good inverts. They are very snappy, whippy, and they have five inversions. They're quick, intense. The corkscrews especially, they're crazy snappy. And the two vertical loops are very intense. Tons of positive G-forces. The only thing that is wrong with these clones is they're just short. And for a clone coaster though, these are all very solid inverts. Um, just the length, you know, they're just short. But they pack a lot in that length for sure. Number six, I have Talon at Dorney Park. So Talon is 3,117 feet long, it does have four inversions. So the second half is really great with the airtime filled drop and it has a low turn by the entrance which is pretty intense. The Immelman loop is great. Also at the end I think the Helix is great and very forceful, it's just very intense Like, and I love that intensity of that helix that Talon does have. Um, amazing pay, pacing, pretty good. Um, I think maybe a couple dead spots, but pretty good pacing overall. I would say, to me, this feels like a better laid out version of Great Bear. And I know some people don't really like Talon, but I personally really think Talon's a good ride. It's very smooth, it's very enjoyable. No complaints, really. Heading into the top five, and honestly, I could see any of these being ranked as somebody's favorite invert, and I could agree with any of them being somebody's favorite for sure. Number five, I'm going to put Afterburn, which is 2,953 feet long, has six inversions. So the Batwing element's a lot of fun. It's pretty unique. This whole thing is fast-paced and intense. The final corkscrew honestly could be the most whippy of any on an invert that I personally experienced and it absolutely tears through that ending helix like it is so fast through that ending helix you're like what just happened amazing pacing absolutely no dead spots it's just a little short would be my only complaint with afterburn all right number four is Alpengeist at Bush Gardens Williamsburg it's so tall that honestly it's almost a hyper invert which is crazy to think about so it's 3826 feet long it has six total inversions so four of those inversions are in the first half and those four inversions before that mid course are are crazy intense and amazing the two inversions in the second half actually have some hang time so that makes them pretty great as well the size and speed of this thing is great. The Cobra Roll in particular I think is very whippy and snappy, but I will say the biggest knock on Alpengeist is that the second half of it is pretty weak compared to the first half. But the reason why I still have it ranked at number four and still have it ranked pretty high is just because of how absolutely amazing that first half is. Not to mention that the whole coaster in general just has a 
pretty setting and plus seeing snow any time of the year that's pretty cool <laughs> but I just can't rank it any higher just because that second half is weak but that first half definitely makes up for it at my number three spot I have Banshee Kings Island so this is actually the world's longest invert at 4134 feet it is full of seven inversions. It has an amazing first drop. Plus at the top of that first drop, you can hear the Banshee scream, which is pretty cool. Little sound effect. Some pretty good theming actually in general with Banshee. Um, also, the hang time on the end at the inline roll is great. And I think because by then the train has slowed down on its momentum and just having that feature is really cool at the end to me. Again, a nice long layout with plenty of inversions. It has a very intense pretzel knot. I think it's smooth. And I like the loop over the lift hill. I think it's fun and it's also very visually appealing to look at. Um, I know some people think Banshee has a bad rattle. I don't really notice it or have a problem with it, if there is one. I just really like Banshee. I think it's a lot of fun, a great invert, and I especially like that it's long. Honestly, as I said, any of these top five, I could definitely agree with being anybody's favorite invert. These top two especially I often talk about as the best. This one probably especially, but I still am going to put it at number two, and it is Montu. So Montu is 3,983 feet long. It has seven inversions. This thing is incredible. It's full of positive G's. I like the ter trenches and they're nice with the terrain interaction, the pretty setting it has. Uh, the bat wing's incredible. It has a really great G zero G roll. It's very whippy. The intensity basically never lets up at all through Montu's layout. So the only reason why I really want to put it at two and not number one just because I feel like I've had better rides on number one than I actually have on Montu. Um, and also park experience, I feel like. I had one visit at Busch Gardens Tampa that was absolutely miserable. Um, but honestly, Montu is still absolutely incredible ride. I could definitely see it seeing somebody's number one, but it's still my number two. My number one, as you may have guessed it, is a Raptor at Cedar Point. So it's 3,790 feet long, it has six inversions. The zero G and the Cobra Row, I think are both very snappy on this coaster. The two corkscrews after the mid course are even still very snappy. The Helix has a lot of positive Gs. Like it's crazy the amount of positive Gs you get from this Helix. I think the layout is very well paced with intensity and it's absolutely relentless perfect length and amount of inversions to on Raptor. I've just, honestly, Raptor and Montu, I both think are perfect coasters. They're both perfectly intense. They're both perfectly paced. I've just personally had some better rides on Raptor and also better overall park experiences at Cedar Point. Because I had to think about this actually in my ranking because I'm like, okay, I really love both of these. Which one's going to be number one? And I had to take the park experience into account also so that's why Raptor is my number one I just think it's perfect coaster at a perfect pretty good park so if you like this video make sure to like give me a like also subscribe for more roller coaster related content and check out the other videos I have and thank you so much for watching